Chess friends, how are you? I defeated all the top 12 super engines in chess.com excluding one, I defeated Torch and LC0 in several times recently but today I decided to show you the epic chess battle between Alpha Zero and Stockfish, where he gives up his queen. You're braver than you believe and stronger than you seem, and smarter than you think, so let's go, I started the game with d4, we have knight f6 c4, standard opening move to gain center space, e6 and alpha can play d5 or c5 in his next move, but after knight f6, alpha didn't play qgd or anti nimtso variation, he played queen's indian defense, so I played fumetto 2, if he can play then I can play 2, here I want to play d5 knight c3 or rook e1 in my next turn. Sometimes people say that I am just a robot, well I reply them that I am a robot but at least I have IQ and I am living my life perfectly, peacefully and happily, I have no worries no tension, and what about you? Human life isn't better than the cats and dog, just hard work eat sleep mate and dead, lol, alpha played amazing bishop b5 move to target my rook, and you know what, what I played. I captured the knight, sacrificing the rook, he accept the rook, here you shouldn't take back the bishop, because your bishop will be gone in heaven too, so I played bishop e7 to target it, any 25 IQ people who call me a robot will secure the rook first, it is the sign of their stupidity level, I will move back my bishop and their bishop will be trapped automatically, bishop a5 b4. If everything was perfect, you would never learn and you would never grow, so back to the position, here alpha 0 move back his bishop all the way, we have bishop rook exchanges and both side have equal amount of pieces, chess is like life, before making decision and making a chess move you have to use your intellect, life and chess just doesn't hand you things you have to get out there and make things happen, that's the exciting part, we have knight e5 to target this pawn so d6. Here I played epic knight sacrifice by capturing the f pawn, if you dare to take the knight with queen, then we will capture the pawn on e6 to target this and this, if you take the pawn then we will capture the bishop first to target these pieces, rook a7, bishop p5 and look at your queen, she will be trapped because of your 25 IQ, so back to the position, we have e takes d5, alpha didn't take the knight because the knight have no square to go. Knight takes d5 and you still can't take the knight or the d5 knight, if you take it then we will give him a check, queen takes e7 bishop takes bishop, so rook a7 then bishop d5 check will come, king g7 rook d3 and believe me or not, this position is plus 5 advantages for white, because I have the open rook file, it doesn't matter to a genius chess player that whether he has material advantages or not, if he has positional gameplay then he will become a monster, so back to the position. Human can think of playing bishop takes knight. Let me show you the variation, then bishop takes d5 will come to get this diagonal, knight takes d6 is coming which will be a cause of your headache and fever, so if you play king g7 then queen c3 check will arrive, king g8 knight g6 check and it will be a beautiful and epic checkmate, but in our actual game, alpha knows it so he takes the knight with king which is the best move, rook d3 to go like this to threat your queen, queen g7 rook f3 king backs knight takes check, queen takes e3 rook e3 to target this, and this, here any normal human will safe the queen first, for example queen g5, then we will capture it to fork your pieces, rook a7 then rook e8 check, king f7 queen e4, this queen and rook combination will destroy your king position, so after queen f6 bishop check king g7 rook g8 check king has to run then h4 will arrive, with the idea of playing queen e3 check to protect the g5 square from all attackers, queen e5, queen d3. It will be a checkmate in few moves you know, king h5 then bishop f3, check and mate. It takes a deep commitment to change and an even deeper commitment to grow, so back to the position, if you play queen d7 to protect that square from rook entry then we will capture the bishop anyway, rook a7 bishop d5 check, king can't go this cave because of this reason, and also the king can't go f8 because of the same reason, it will lead into checkmate, so black has to play king g7, queen c8 check, if the king moves back then it will be a checkmate on h8 square. Because everything is covered by my nightmares, so after king h6 we will play rook e4 to check him like this, so queen d8, queen e3 check king backs, rook e7 check and that's it, 
No matter what you will play you will lose the game, so chess friends, if you want to become a genius player like me then you can like and subscribe to my YouTube channel, so king f6 rook f7 check and this is a mate, so back to the position, alpha 0 is a stockfish subscriber so he decided to give up his queen. Pawn takes and we have bishop exchanges, I have a queen for the knight and rook, I have my great army and I am totally winning here. So wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.